Hi there, this is Twyla from dateafterdeath.com and today the video is going to be about the holidays. So as a widow, when you are dating and there's a holiday, how do you navigate that? Um, today is January 21st of 2016 and so we're right in the middle of Christmas and on the one hand and Valentine's Day on the other, which are significant holidays that you're typically celebrating with your family, you're celebrating with your spouse, and if you're far along enough in the dating process, then you're probably gonna be um, celebrating with the person that you're dating too. So today I'm gonna talk about my experiences as a widow during the holidays, when I was dating, and what I found helpful for myself to get through those times because it's just, it's not the same as a normal holiday season. There's all these emotions that come up because we have happy memories. Happy memories of these holidays that we shared with the person that passed. And then in the now, in the present, we have this new person who, for myself, I didn't feel like I could talk about my previous relationship and all those memories that were coming up that I was having to deal with with the person I was dating. You know, to be fair, I didn't think it was appropriate right away to, you know, jump into, oh, and by the way, <laughs> you know, that's my emotional stuff that I need to work through. And so for me, what I did was I found people that I could talk to about my fiance who passed and all those good memories and the sadness I was experiencing missing him and I also journal a lot so for me finding somebody who's supportive to talk to and journaling were big and then the other thing that came up for me was exhaustion from grieving so for the first year or two years even even three years honestly whenever it was a holiday christmas was a big one for me i i would feel sad the grief the wave of grief even if i hadn't been experiencing it for a while it would just come and i would feel low energy i wouldn't feel like doing much and that was how i was feeling for me honoring my feelings always when i was grieving was the most important thing if people don't understand that's on them that's not on me. I'm doing what's best for me and for my healing. So around the holidays, oh, it's so conflicting because on the one hand, it's a happy time, you know, and I was celebrating with the new person that I was with. On the other hand, it was a sad time because all these memories were coming up. And so I was still grieving. I was still experiencing grief. For me, I didn't have a lot of energy and I needed the time and space to grieve as well as to celebrate. So what I did was I would limit the amount of time that I was going to spend in a family or a social situation with my the person that I was dating and so I wouldn't get overwhelmed, I wouldn't burn myself out and I could still honor that time that I needed for me to grieve and really I, for me, grieving was a special time. Grieving is a special thing. It's, it was processing, and it still is, processing those feelings that I had and still have for my fiancé who passed. So that is my thoughts and what worked for me during the holidays when I was grieving quite, quite a lot, like still in the acute stage, and then also dating. So I hope you found this helpful. And if you have any questions or any comments, you know, please share them. I will definitely respond. I'd love to hear from you and have an excellent rest of your day.